If this is the first video you watched in the series, go check out number one, as number one will get you caught up to everything. And with that out of the way, let's get the video started! What is up guys, and today, we are adding enemies to our game. So I just added a quick little enemies, and, and watch this. Critical hit, what up? Today I'll teach you how to add some enemies too. All right, so go back into your platformer, and you're gonna wanna file, save as copy. So now you have a copy of it, just in case something wrong happens, and we'll call it platformer with enemies. We've got everything here, and we just wanna duplicate the level. Remember to make this zero, zero. You don't actually have to. Okay, so. This will be enemies, so call it enemies, and just delete all the, uh, delete the costumes, and just make, make, make an enemy. Just get rid of all this stuff, we don't need it. Instead, we're gonna place it with hide, so this hides it, but we wanna show it. I, I almost forgot, we also have to duplicate the costume. Uh, and then we're going to make the hitbox costume. So, name it hitbox. Name this one enemy. Then we're going to duplicate the hitbox. And we're going to select your, uh, select this. Make sure to copy paste it. Then size it down a whole bunch like this. See, you might not be able to see it. And then just drag it outside of here. So like right down here like this. See, they're touching, but not really. And then delete this. And we're going to name this all box. Make a new block and call it create, create enemies for screen screen like this and then click run without screen refresh we're gonna go over to screen two okay for this one we're going to add enemies something to to make everything easy wait until not touching level change y by one so now it, it'll get pushed out of the ground all right just click on this and there we go actually you know what even better Switch costume to hitbox, and then switch back to enemy. Just find your place for the enemy, and then just do this. Now that he's out of this, out of the floor. If and set this, since this is screen two, since so if screen equals two, go to. We're gonna set it to one six eight. And negative three four, kind of like how, like how we got it here. And then, whoops, sorry. Um, and then create clone myself. All right. When I start as clone, forever. Move one steps. Then we're gonna copy from the player sprite. We're gonna copy X collision and Y collision. Now, we don't need any X collision or Y, I mean, sorry, X speed or Y speed stuff. So we don't need this. So just repeat until not touch. So just if touching levels, set touching ground to true. And there we go. That's, that's, our, that's our Y collision script. That's all it is. Because it is, because our enemies can't jump, jump. So, yeah. It won't hit, it won't hit the ground from the top. Or the bottom of the ground. Anyway, so then we actually want to change this. So instead of instead of X speed, direction. We're going to want to turn 180 degrees. Alright, so then we're going to duplicate this. We're going to still turn 180 degrees. But then we're also going to have to do something else if sorry you have to switch custom to fall box and then we're gonna have to do if not touching level 
Then we're going to turn 180 degrees, and then we're going to switch back to enemy. Also, remember to switch these to enemy ex instead, and then just do, and then we're going to do move one step below that x collision change y speed by negative one once again the gravity change y by y speed y collision and that's all that's all the enemy scripts now when we run it oh wait i i almost forgot when i receive next screen wait zero seconds we're going to drag this out and, and we're going to do level. It's not direction, but costume number of level. So now. Oh, right. It's not showing. Click. Drag a show under there and uh, what? Oh, it's the, it's the fall box costume. Whoops. I know why, because there we go. Except that doesn't work the way we might expect. Instead, we're going to do negative one step, so it goes the way we want him. And remember to always set rotations out left-right, because, well, that, that broke our game last time as well. And there we go, we got our enemy! <laughs> you can't get me. Hey, why can't we squish him? Well, the reason is we haven't coded that in yet. So, we're going to find his... We're going to find the enemies... Uh, see, mine's 37 by 37. We're going to look at this number, the one at the last. So, 37 divided by 2. So, 37 divided by 2 equals 18.5. So, now we know his width at the top, or the height at the top. Then we're going to grab Scratch Cat. See how his is negative 2? We're just going to try... And so, all right, so this is the proper code. So, so basically it's your, so it's your height divided by two. So the play, so the enemy's height, which is 37 divided by two, 18.5. We're going to round that. So it's 19. And then just, I don't know how to explain it, but you're just going to try and then you're going to, so 19 Plus 14, that should equal somewhat, something close to 37, but not actually 37. And it works. So he just dies. We can easily test this by just refreshing it. As you can see, he just dies. Okay, so you gotta do if touching enemies, then wait zero seconds it's going to just, it's going to ask if it's still touching the enemies and if it still is then we'll just do the the death script and then we bring this into here and then we run it now watch what happens everything is normal however if I die however if I reset and just wait for the guy and then see how I touch it and then he goes back also um I completely forgot but this is very messy but um uh, okay so there's one problem here we haven't deleted the old clones as well so do that and then we're gonna duplicate these scripts again and then, and then we're gonna make a new message. Call it player um, respawn. So once your player respawns, then it'll then it'll do the exact same scripts. So just we're gonna broadcast this one after every after every um one of the these scripts so I'll just do this and then okay so now 
I will give this a shot. I can. I will die to the enemy, and then I'll respawn. So there you go. Alright, so now we've added enemies. See how it just breaks apart? However, one unsatisfying thing is when we hit the enemy, we don't bounce up again. So, easy thing. Broadcast. Player destroyed enemy. Alright, just, just drag that under the... Destroy. Then, when when the player receives player destroyed enemy, set Y speed to ten. This will make sure that you bounce off the enemy you just you just um destroyed. Watch this. Ready? So you just bounce, and it's so satisfying. We can also add a sound. We're gonna cut. We're gonna find glass break. Perfect. We're gonna just start that sound right before it deletes the clone, so we get a nice pshh. See how it just breaks and then plays the pshh. Again, this is so satisfying when you just go. So satisfying. Next, we're gonna add a combo system. So, make a new variable, call it hit combo make sure f for all sprites for all sprites then we're going to change hit combo by one we're going to set hit combo to zero forever if touching ground equals true so if you're touching the ground then i'll set the hit combo to zero all right now watch the hit combo go to one right, right as we hit the enemy and then as soon as we hit the ground it's gonna hit it's gonna go to zero this is because we don't want the hit combo to keep going even if we didn't kill like a whole bunch of enemies in a row if if touching edge turn 180 degrees so this will make it so if it's on the edge then it then it just it'll bounce off the edge all right let's test test it let's see see how it see how it's going up see how that went up This is basically the critical hit system, and let's just make a costume for this. So, so now we have our critical hit costume. Name it critical hit. All right, when green flag clicked forever, we're gonna make it go to the front layer just to make it easier. All right, when I receive player destroyed enemy, if is greater than four, if hit combo is greater than four, then go to enemy X, enemy Y. We're going to make sure that our rotation style is set to don't rotate and we're gonna if on edge bounce. So this makes it not touching the edge. So if it's going over the edge, then it'll just bounce back and go not over the edge. All right, and then we're going to repeat 20, change ghost effect by five, change Y by two. 
Alright, we're gonna do a show and uh, hide. We're gonna hide this when green flag clicked. And just a test, if this works, we're going to kill five enemies in a row, like this. That didn't work, so just, again, make it three instead. Die! Okay, let's see if it works. There we go, we got the critical hit. As you can see, it works. But it doesn't give us our one-up, so change lives by one and we can hide this hit combo variable and there we go we've got our we've got enemies in our in our simple platformer game and as you can see our lives is now four well i guess that does it for this video like subscribe and hit that bell and i'll see you guys in the next video peace take this